Now, another random post at work problem pa rin tayo at ito ay post ni Ma'am Jessa Jane dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Basahin natin yung problem. May, John, June can finish painting the, pa the fence in two hours. If May does the job alone, she can finish it in five hours. If Jan does the job alone, he can finish it in eight hours. How long will it take for June to finish the job alone? Isaisahin natin. Ito si May, si Jan, at saka si June. If they work together, matapos nila ang fence, painting the fence in two hours. Kung si May lang, matapos niya isang trabaho in five hours. Plus, kung si Jan lang, matapos niya ang isang trabaho in eight hours. At kung si John, yan yung tanong kung isang trabaho, ilang oras ba niya matapos yan. So, anong gusto niyo? Let N be that number of hours na matapos ni John kung siya lang sa trabaho na yan. Isang trabaho altogether sila ay matapos in 2 hours. Ito na yung equation sa problem natin. Itong 1 fifth and 1 sixth. Hanapan natin ng least common denominator para ma-add natin yan. At ang least common denominator dito ay 40. 40 divided by 5 is equals to 8. 8 times 1 is equals to 8. This is 40. 40 divided by 8 is equals to 5. 5 times 1 is equals to 5. Mag-add tayo. By the way, lalagay ko na rin sa description ng video ito kung paano mag Add yung mga butterfly method sa fraction. At kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator. Plus, kopyahin yung 1 over n equals kopyahin si 1 half. Now, pwede na tayong mag-add. Kopyahin lang yung denominator na 40. 8 plus 5 is equals to 13. So, this is plus 1 over n equals 1 half. Ngayon, Para ma-isolate natin si 1 over n, nandito na lang si 1 over n, itong 13 over 40, since pang-add siya, pang-minus na ngayon siya sa 1 half. Minus 13 over 40. So, i-rewrite natin dito. 1 over n is equals to 1 half minus 13 over 40. Now, hanapan natin ng least common denominator ulit. Ang least common denominator nila ay 40. 40 divided by 2 is equals to 20. 20 times 1 is equals to 20. In other words, si 1 half ay pariho lang sa 20 over 40. Minus 13 over 40. Kopyahin si 1 over n. Next. Yung denominator na 40, kopyahin lang yan. 20 minus 13 is equals to 7. So, 1 over n equals 7 over 40. Mag-cross multiply tayo. 1 times 40 is equals to 40. 7 n. Kapital pala ang ginawa ko. So, 7 n. Ngayon, para ma-isolate si n, since si 7 pang multiply sa n, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 40. In other words, nag-divide tayo ng 7 to both sides para ma-isolate na si n dito. Now, n is equals to 40 divided by 7. Isa-isahin natin. 40 divided by 7. So, this is, ilan ba to? 5. 5 times 7 is equals to 35. 40 minus 35 is equals to 5. 5 hours... 5 hours, 5, yung numerator, over 7. So, therefore, ang sagot ay 5 and 5 over 7 hours kung si June lang. Now, 
Kung gusto nyo itong 5 and 5 over 7 hours, ay gawin nating minutes ito. So, this is 5 over 7 hours times 60 minutes over 1 hour. Para makancel si hour dyan. So, ito i-multiply natin dito. Numerator muna tayo. So, this is 300 over 7. So, this is 42.85. Ito na lang. Pwede namang i-round off na lang natin. 43 minutes. So, kung gusto nyo may minutes, ang sagot dito ay 5 hours and 43 minutes. Otherwise, ang sagot ay, sulat natin dito si John. Ang sagot dito ay 5 and 5 over 7 hours. For more examples, please see description ng video ito. Kasi lalagay ko dyan yung least common denominator kung paano hanapin yan, yung butterfly method at kung gusto nyo rin para sa mga bago sa channel ko, kung gusto nyo ng printable na reviewers, pwede nyo i-PM sa akin yung email nyo at isi-send ko sa inyo. At dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All, kung meron kayong pasagutan, mag-post kayo dito. Marami din tayong mga members na happy sagutan yung mga tanong ninyo. At mayroon pa akong ibang mga FB group na lagi kong tinatambayan. At ito naman yung FB page natin. Thank you for watching. God bless. At abangan yung mga future videos natin.